Greetings everyone. Welcome to KTW Media Ministry. My name is Pastor Ken and I'm truly honored and blessed to be with you during this holiday season. Um, before I go over to the message today, I want to share about an event that's coming up. We've partnered with Glorious Kingdom Christ Fellowship, Pastor Cynthia Latte, over on the north side of Wilmington. We're going to be having a youth service Sunday, December 15th at 3.30. We got praise dancers. We got praise and worship, singing going on. We got a, a, a message of hope, inspiration, and deliverance that's going to be delivered by myself personally. And I'm telling you, I am really excited about this event because this is the beginning of something great and wonderful that's going to be taking place in our community. We're starting next year, 2014. The, the, the theme for our ministry will be called Kingdom Building. We're going to start hosting events in the women's community community, reaching out to the youth, reaching out to the families, no more sitting on the sidelines and talking about it. We're going to be about it here at KTW Media Ministry. We're going to go out and invite churches to come over and dance and sing and praise and worship and love on you. So this Sunday coming up at 3.30, Pastor Cynthia Latte's church, you don't want to be there. She just started a church on the north side and she's fired up over there on the north side, going out, reaching out to the youth and people in that community. So stay with me, I'll be back with a message of hope, and I need to tell you I'm fired up and I'm excited. In Jesus' name, I'll be right back. There's a lot going on in our communities these days. You know, across the nation, they got shootings, we got our youth entangled in, in violence and guns and drugs, and, and we kind of lost hope as communities. We're focus, focusing so much on the violence and the drugs and all the things that's going on in our communities that we've forgotten about how great our God is. And today I want to just remind us that our God is greater than any circumstance that we may face in our families, in our communities, in our businesses, in our ministries. But we are to come together in unity, in unity, binding together. And I believe with all my heart, that we can advance forward. They got the redwood tree, which is considered to grow to be the largest tree in the world. And what's so interesting about this tree, this tree grows to be taller than, actually they have a tree in California that's twice the size of the Statue of Liberty. So what I did was I actually did some research to find out how is it that this tree can grow to such heights, and I want to share it with you. This tree, as we know, is so tall, but it takes the time to grow its roots really deep. Now stay with me because I'm going somewhere. You only find redwood trees grown in groups. Oh, praise God. They grow in groups. So as their roots go really deep and down into the ground, that's not the only thing that I discovered. They begin to intertwine their roots together with each other in the community, in their group, so that that makes them even stronger. Their roots go down and they begin to intertwine their roots with each other, making them stronger. Then they have the ability to take the nutrition that they get from in the ground and push it up into their trunks into their vines so that it goes into their leaves so that other areas of the tree is able to grow. So you may be asking, Pastor, Ken, where's Pastor Ken going with this? I'm going somewhere. We've been having some trouble in our communities. We've been having some trouble with our youth and in our families. So what do we need to do? God has given us the godly principles or the antidote or the solution we are to bind together. We are to bind together as churches, as organizations, as families. And we bind together with God and the Holy Spirit. And this gives us the ability to face those challenges that as individuals that we run from. We're able to grow. We're able to provide resources for our children and for families to get back on their feet so that they can move forward, advance forward, so that we can be all that we can be. I'm really excited, like I said once again, about 2014 because I've been praying, I've been on my knees, and I really want to tar target helping our families and our youth. There's no need, 
Oh, I praise God. I hope somebody hear me. There's no need for us to live in lack. In the Old Testament, they was fighting for resources. Resources to build up themselves as individuals to provide better quality living for families and for youth. And we can do that as, as a unit, as a group of individuals in Jesus' name. So once again, we got an event coming up on Sunday. I pray to God that you come. We're going to be blessed. But until next time, um, we pray for you. We love you. Hit us up on our social media network. And we'll, we'll love to get back with you. In Jesus' name, we love you. Until next time, God bless.